important for the exam. First, the size of the organelles and then the structures in animal and plant cells that can be seen with only a lipid microscope or both. Okay, let's make an order of organelles according to their sizes from the largest one to the smallest one. Well, nucleus is the most conspicuous and the largest organelle in the eukaryotic cell. Well, the average size of the nucleus is around 5 micrometer. Well, keep this in mind, 5,000 nanometer. Well, keep in mind, I make one order for both animal and the plant cells. So the next organelle is chloroplast. Well, centrioles come after chloroplast. But remember that centrioles are found only in animal cells, not in plant cells. And mitochondria comes next. Well, you may ask, how about the endoplasmic reticulum or the Golgi body? Well, you may think here that the endoplasmic reticulum or the Golgi body is larger than mitochondria. But since uh, both of them do not have a fixed shape, they're not one single enclosed organelle we can't really compare them so they're out of question and they're not being asked in any of the questions so our next organelle is lysosome and the smallest organelle is a ribosome well remember the size of the ribosome 25 nanometer now compare this to that well in some questions you may also see the nucleoli well if you need to compare the size of nucleoli to any other organelle Cambridge accepts it somewhere between the lysosome and the ribosome. The second important topic is which organelles in eukaryotic cells can be seen only by the electron microscope, so they're very small, or can be seen both in light and electron microscope. So since we made the order of the size of the organelles, it's clear that the nucleus for sure, but not the double membrane of the nuclear envelope, the chloroplasts, again, not the double membrane. The centrioles, but not in pair, okay? And the mitochondria, but not the double membrane again. So these organelles can, uh, can be seen by the light microscope. So any organelle smaller than that can only be seen by the electron microscope. Okay, let's check out some questions. What is the correct order of size of organelles? Just a bit of advice use the elimination method here so both a and b starts with mitochondrion and c and d start with nucleus and remember that nucleus is larger than the mitochondrion so do not spend time on a and b anymore so what comes next nucleus correct okay and then the mitochondrion mitochondrion in c as well yeah here is the problem okay is it lysosome or ribosome we know that lysosomes are larger than the ribosome so that one is the correct path so the answer is okay let's recall again the maximum resolution in a light microscope is 200 nanometer because it uses visible light radiation and in electron microscope it's 0 0.5 nanometer and the maximum magnification you can get with the light microscope is 1500 times and it's 250,000 times in electron microscope. Due to such differences, the parts that you can see with the light microscope and under electron microscope would be totally different. But remember the order of the size of the organelle. So nucleus is the largest organelle. So it's definitely seen uh, with the light microscope. But the nuclear envelope, the double membrane cannot be seen, of course. Right? The chloroplasts in plant cells the mitochondria and the centrioles can be seen, but pay attention here, the centriole cannot be seen as pair, and the chloroplast and the mitochondria, which have double membrane, cannot be also uh, seen with the light microscope. Okay, which structures can only be seen with the electron microscope? Let's start from the nucleus. Of course, chromatin. Nuclear envelope having double membrane and the nuclear pores. Well, the double membrane of the mitochondria, the double membrane of the chloroplast in plant cells. The endoplasmic reticulum, as you can see here, the stacks of membrane around the nucleus are not visible in the light microscope, only with the electron microscope. Lysosomes, the small vesicles, two separate centrioles, microvilli, microtubules, and the inside of the chloroplast, the stacks of this called as grana, they can only be seen with only electron microscope. Here is a list of details seen with electron microscope but not apparent using a light microscope. You may want to pause the video and check this out. Well, here is a plant cell version. Again, the nucleus, 
the chloroplasts, the mitochondria, they can all be seen with the light microscope, not the uh, membrane detail. So the nuclear envelope, the nuclear pore uh, cannot be seen. The double membrane of the chloroplast and the mitochondria cannot be seen as well. What else we can see with the light microscope here? The cell wall can be seen. I forgot to mention earlier, the dense dark region in the nucleus, the nucleus can also be seen with the light microscope. Well, here is a plant version of the list of detail that can be seen with the electron microscope. Let's check out some questions. Which cell structure can be seen only with an electron microscope? Only with an electron microscope. So, we know that the cell wall and the nucleus can be seen with the light microscope. How about the chromosome? Well, chromosomes become visible during uh, cell division, so it's possible to observe them with the light microscope again. And the ribosomes are about 25 nanometer in size, so they're too small to be seen with the light microscope. So only electron microscope. Which of the cell organelles, when appropriately stained, will be clearly visible under the high power of the light microscope? Light microscope. Okay, let's again use a method of elimination. We know that the lysosomes and the endoplasmic reticulum cannot be seen with the light microscope, only with the electron microscope. So let's check out A cannot be, B cannot be, C cannot be. So we don't even need to check out mitochondrial chloroplasts. So the answer is D here. Well, another similar question. Which cell structure can be seen only with an electron microscope? Wacol can be seen with the light microscope, nucleus as well. Chromosome during cell division can be seen with the light microscope. Cell surface membrane. Well, we'll see this in another chapter that the size of the cell surface membrane is about 7 nanometer. So even though we feel like with the light microscope we can see a line, but we don't see actually the cell surface membrane. Only with an electron microscope it's possible. The diagram below is drawn from an electromicrograph of an animal cell. So that's electromicrograph, which represents the same cell seen under the light microscope at 400 times magnification. So which part would be seen in the light microscope? Let's check this out. Here I can see the Golgi and some vesicles, which is not possible with the light microscope, right? And here the endoplasmic reticulum which cannot be seen by the electron microscope. It's either B or C, but still I can see the gold G, some vesicles as well, just cancel this out. So the correct answer should be C. Which group of structures are visible in a suitably stained plant cell using a high power light microscope? Light microscope. Well, two pieces of key information here. One is the light microscope, the other one is the plant cell. Centrioles are not found in the plant cell, so just eliminate, cancel out A and B. So we're sure about this. Let's how about the chromosome, our chromosome visible light microscope. It's yes and no. It depends whether the cell is dividing or not. So this is both possible. Okay. Let's check out mitochondria. Mitochondria are definitely visible. Starch grain. I think this will be our key answer here. So the starch grains will always be visible with the light microscope. So that is our answer. So as you can see here, in this question, the chromosomes are accepted as not being visible with the light microscope. But this is particular to this question. They can also be visible if the cell is undergoing a nuclear division. So the correct answer is D. Okay, last question in this video. Plant cells are stained and then weaved through the light microscope. Which structures would be clearly visible at a magnification of 400 times? So again, we are looking for a structure that can only be seen with the electron microscope, right? not light microscope. So that structure is definitely the ribosome. I have selected only several questions for this video, but there are many other questions related to the size of the organelles and which organelle can be seen with the electron microscope and light microscope. That's all for this video.